Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Expecting Soon and in this episode, I'll be sharing with you guys a week in my life as a working pregnant mom. So every morning, I will wake up and take some of my supplements. Here I am taking the DHA fish oil. It's for baby's um, brain and eyes development. I also am taking some probiotics because my gynae said that this will help in um, allergies and everything for the baby. Vitamin D, uh, this is a high dose so don't take so high because I personally am vitamin D deficient. So I'm taking one a day and I'm also taking calcium pills for the baby's muscles, bones and stuff. So what I recommend is getting um, something like this and I usually break my pills up, the bigger ones. Ooh. This is Taffy. Taffy say hi. hi. He has no teeth sadly because all his teeth were extracted. As of today, I'll show you guys my tummy. I am 7 months and 5 days old. I mean not I, but my child. <laughs> I'm gonna bring you guys with me to work. Alrighty, so this is my personal room with my um, chair. This is my work desk. It's a bit uh, untidy at the moment. But um, yeah, we are gonna do a scan now. I check is now 10.44 and I just finished my last patient. Don't look at my forehead it's full of pimples but not every day I finish that late. Sometimes I get to finish early and just unwind. So to all working mums, respect. I usually have some fruits for supper slash dinner. So I just wanted to talk to you guys a bit more about the differences in my second and third trimester. Um, mm, so sweet. This is fluffy. Mm. Now I'm currently in my third trimester. I'm feeling um, shortness of breath. My back has been killing me. Especially as a dentist, you know, we have to like sit up straight all day, using our neck and shoulder. But thankfully, I have Madam Partum. I go to them for my massages, which always, always relieves all the body aches that I have. I also don't feel very hungry all the time. I think because um, the baby is expanding and also taking a lot of space in my tummy so that my tummy is like I guess a bit smaller I don't really have appetite for food Many people say that you know Pregnancy glow with boys No pimples <sighs> Look at my face <gasps> Alright, not too close I am slightly more excited this trimester Baby is growing so fast Reality is actually um, hitting me that in two months time I will have a new addition to my family I don't know everything's so exciting oh I'm going to my gynae again next Monday probably bring you guys with me we are at the gynae and I love this piece of art because when you actually zoom in it's pictures of him with all the babies and mummies. Oh, I'm also gonna be doing the gestational diabetes test. Just got my results from the gynae and apparently I have gestational diabetes. I think the passing result is 10 and I got 10.1. So yeah, now I will have to watch my diet. Also do some blood glucose monitoring. It's not the mum's fault for having this. Now I just have to be responsible by, you know, uh, watching my diet, eating healthily before the baby comes out. Because once diagnosed with the GDM, um, basically you are more prone to getting diabetes in the future. I'm gonna cut down my bubble tea and all my cravings for carbs. Tea time, we have some salad with sesame dressing, some hard boiled eggs. And I also have some mummy's milk. I mean, milk for her mummies and Milo Gao Gosong. So it's like no sugar. The weekend, and usually during the weekend, I will focus on working out. So I've recently moved to my new place, and uh, it's currently raining now, but we've got a pool 
and a mini gym. We got three machines here for cardio and also um, some weights. I'm trying to keep a healthy lifestyle because as a working mom, weekdays are for work and by the time I'm done, I'm so like done for the day so I don't really have any mood for exercising but during the weekend, I really focus on taking care of my health and also um, doing some workout. So that's it guys for a week in my life as a working mom. I hope you guys have learned more about me and what I do on a weekly basis or a daily basis. So basically what I would advise, uh, I mean I'm a first time mom so don't quote me on anything, but I strongly strongly advise that you listen to your body, always have enough rest. I mean working is very crucial because money is important, right? Oh god, my double chin. Working is important as well as your health and your emotional, physical well-being. So definitely take time off for yourself if you do think you need rest and also um, work-life balance is the most important out of everything I feel especially in the third trimester when you know you only have a few more months to actually have for yourself and your partner before having an addition to your family maybe i'll let you guys know what his name is next time so do comment down below what you would like to see next on expecting soon and click here for more and click here to subscribe i'll see you soon bye guys